Mr. Coyle from Coyle Maths, today we're going to be doing the Advanced Higher Maths 2022 exam paper, paper 2. Express in partial fractions 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 over xx squared plus 5. So remember that means 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 over xx squared plus 5 must equal a over x plus bx plus c over x squared plus 5. So that implies that the numerator 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 must equal, making this denominator cross multiplication is the simplest way, ax squared plus 5 plus bx plus c times x. So let's just put in some numbers for x and work out our a, b's and c's. So let's say at x equal to 0, that implies we get 5 on the left equals 5a on the right, which implies a just equals 1. Okay, let's do x equal to 1. That implies on the left we get 5 again. And on the right hand side we get 1 plus 5 is 6, so 6a and plus b plus c, but we already know that a equals 1, so that means we've got b plus c just equals minus 1. And then we need to find another one, so let's try x equal 2 this time. So that implies our left-hand side is going to be 2 twos is 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 6 is 6 plus 5 is 11. So we get 11 equals 9a plus 2 times 2 is 4, so 4b plus 2c. But we already know that a is 1, so 9 times 1 is 9, so that gives us 2 on the left, equals 4b plus c, 2c. Dividing through by 2, we get 2b plus c equals 1, and we already know as well though that b plus c is minus 1, so we can just take them away from each other, and we get b equals to 2, which implies that c equals minus 3, because 2 becomes minus 3. So then just to answer our question then, 3x squared minus 3x plus 5 over x, x squared plus 5 equals a over x, so 1 over x, plus bx plus c over x squared plus 5. Question 2. Find the exact value of integral between 0 and 3 of 4 over 2x plus 1. So... That equals 4 times the integral between 0 and 3 of 1 over 2x plus 1 dx. That gives you lo a log, so that's 4 times the log of 2x plus 1 times a half between 0 and 3. So that gives us 2 log 2x plus 1 between 0 and 3. So that's 2 times the log of 2 3 is a 6 plus 1 is 7 minus 2 times the log of 1. That equals 2 times the log of 7 over 1, which is 2 log 7, or if you prefer, the log of 7 squared, which is the log of 49. Question 3 says, use a Euclidean algorithm to find integers a and b such that 634a plus 87b equals 1. Okay, so let's find the greatest common divisor between 634 and 87. So GCD of 634 and 87. So 634 equals 7 times 87. And it gives us a remainder of 25. So now 87 
Well, that's clearly 3 times 25, and it gives us a remainder of 12. So now we've got our 25. Well, 25 is 2 times 12, giving us a remainder of 1, or 12, in other words, equals 12 times 1 plus 0. And therefore, we've shown that the greatest common divisor between 634 and 87 equals 1. So now we just need to work backwards. So starting off with 1, 1 then equal, must equal 25 minus 2 times 12. 12 must equal, looking here, must equal 87 minus 3 times 25. 25 must equal 634 minus 7 times 87. So we've got 1 equals 25 minus 2 times 12. So we're going to substitute 12 in now. So 1 equals 25 minus 2 times 87 minus 3 times 25. And we'll tidy that up as we go. So that means that 1 equals 25 minus 2 lots of 87 plus 6 lots of 25. So 1 is 7 lots of 25 minus 2 lots of 87. And now we can substitute our 25 in. So 1 equals 7 times 6, 3, 4, minus 7 times 87. Take away the 2 times 87, it will still go. So 1 is 7 times 6, 3, 4, minus 49 times 87, minus 2 times 87. So 1 is 7 times 6, 3, 4, minus 51 times 87. So remember we started off with a statement that 634a plus 87b equals 1. Well, we've now got that in this form. We've got a must equal 7 and b must equal minus 51.